What's up, Empty Brews? Me time in here. As you can see, it finally happened. I was able to purchase myself a custom PC, which is not assembled yet, <laughs> but it's going to get there in uh, hopefully a couple hours from now. Well, first first video, I'm going to do a couple videos on this um, this build, on this masterful PC build. First, The first video is going to go, I'm going to go through the parts of what's going on. Of course, keep in mind, I'm not a professional a PC builder, so some terms I don't I don't know that well, so I probably won't be using all the right terms and stuff like that, or the definite, or the, the, the right wording for it. Anyway. So yeah, to this for this for the first video, I'm going to be going over all the parts that I purchased, and the second video, I'm going to go do a sort of a build one. So let's get started. So the first thing uh, I decided to go with a Ryzen 7 2700X, which is sort of the competitor of the i7 uh, 8700K. Which that, that's the first one I wanted to go, and a lot of you probably Intel fanboys are going to go, why did you go with an AMD? The reason why I went with AMD, AMD uh, Ryzen is because I wanted something that would help me stream, uh, editing, and all those nice things, uh, post-processing for video editing, uh, and recording, and what I've already repeated that. And between the, uh, the A700K and the Ryzen 7 20, 2700X, the AMD gave out more performance. Now I did. I'm not a professional. I don't know like I did. I, I don't know like everything about uh, CPUs. But this one a video comparing both CPUs together. Uh, the the i7 the 8700K did give more FPS uh, for gameplay than the Ryzen. But what I was looking for is for gaming and gaming and streaming at the same time which the AMD in most cases, I uh, would say 9 out of 10 times, performed better because it was able to multitask better than, than the 8700K. What I could see, there might be different circumstances for you that doesn't work the same way, but for me it did work. It, the video convinced me enough to get the Ryzen 7, uh, this model. Also, what I found too is the, uh, the, the Ryzen 7s and all Ryzen chips seems to run at a lower CPU, which will uh, CPU usage when gaming and recording. So that's going to help me a lot to not lag anywhere while, while I'm recording, while I'm streaming, while I'm doing stuff like that. So I'm very happy that I went with the Ryzen 7 uh, for this build. My first build, that's, we're, we're going to go on this together. We're going to learn everything together. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you how everything happened, how, how, how we're going to do it together. So for the next part, to go with the Ryzen uh, CPU, to go with the Ryzen uh, 7, I decided to go with this one, the big old X47 Eras uh, Ultra Gaming. Now this is the, with the AM4 socket set for uh, for the uh, for the for the Ryzen up there. So this was not my first choice. My first choice was an AM a, a MSI. What was the number? MSI X4 uh, X470 Gaming Plus because it had red accent. This one has orange, but it ha does have uh, LEDs that I can put red because my build it will be a red color theme uh, build. Uh, this one seems pretty fine. It's going to be well and dandy for overclocking and all those nice things. I don't know much about it because it, it was like it wasn't my first choice. So I didn't look it up a lot, uh, but it does it does seem like it comes with a lot of awesome feature HDMI, dual channel, blah blah blah. Everything seems in order, and but I don't know much more about this motherboard, so I won't talk too much and just put my my won't uh, go over what I don't know about. So we'll go with the next part. All right, the creme, I'll go with this one right now, the creme uh, La Resistance, uh, the graphic card. I went, to save a bit of money, I, I didn't want to go with the 1080. That's what was my first initial uh, thing I wanted to do when I, I was going with the 8700K. But I decided just to lower it just a tiny bit to save a bit of money because it was getting quite expensive. So I went with the MSI GeForce GTX 1070 Ti, which will be, once overclock, will have, give me about the performance of a 1080 Note 9 Ti or whatever. So I'm pretty happy. Got the red color scheme to go with it. That's why I chose the MSI. Uh, it was a good price uh, altogether. And I feel like I'm going to have some good performance with this one. Can't wait to see. It's VR ready, so if ever I decide to buy the HTC Vive or something like that, I'll be ready for it, but I, all the equipment I already have. And we'll go from there, so on to the next part. All right, our next part is the EVGA Power Supply 750 Gold, 80 plus gold certified semi-modular power supply. So I decided to go with a bigger, I know I could have went with a 550 or 650, save a bit of money, but I wanted something to help me when I'm going to be overclocking the system to make sure that I'll be ready for it. Uh, I also think that all the wires are black, so at least I won't have like 
mustard mustard ketchup water is going all over the place. Uh, and that's one thing, one project I do want to do in the future is trying to re, um, uh, put, uh, recover, not, what's the term again? Put new sleeves on the, on the power supply, like the wires individually, if I feel like it. I know that's a very hard task to do because there's a lot of wire in the build. Uh, I, I don't know if I really feel like going to the setup or just buying extensions with the right color scheme, the red and black. We'll see eventually when I get there because they are expensive and I just out of the budget for now. So these are all black. Hopefully they're all black in here. I'm pretty sure they were. So uh, that's why I went with this one. And of course, with awesome power spot for overclocking. So on to the next. Oh, all right. I decided to go with the AOI all-in-one AIO, sorry, AIO. <laughs> I decided to go with this model right here. At first, this uh, this is another one. The part wasn't my first choice because the the store I went to didn't have this. The one I wanted stock was the uh, Master Liquid ML 240L. Um, yeah, with the RGB. They didn't have this one. This one was a bit cheaper, and just about a ten bucks cheaper. But it was red, so that's why I chose this one to help me out. And of course, water cooled the CPU to help me with overclocking and all that. And uh, I've never heard of this brand before, but it does uh, it does games Gamer Storm. So hopefully we'll have good. We'll, the guy at the store said the, the, that's the one he uses, and it, he had the RGB version of this, and apparently it works pretty good. So we'll uh, we'll try it out, and hopefully it will fit well in the system once we get there. All right, the next next little piece there to help our system out trident z rgb memory 16 2 by 8 16 gigabyte memory so these are uh they're, they're just basic memory uh it's one of those things where I, I was reading a lot about uh different types of memory apparently amd had a there's some weird compatibility with it this one seems to be one of the closest that should work with it hopefully uh it should uh, i'm not too worried about it uh, but we will try it out. RGB, of course, I'm going to leave them red to fit with the whole setup of the case. And we'll go from there. Awesome, cool, cool. It has a cool, I really enjoyed the design of the G skills. G skill, I really enjoyed the design. They look awesome, DDR4. Uh, so we'll definitely see how this this adds to the look of the CP, well, the mother, oh, the whole case altogether. I do feel like I'm, I, I might, if I have some extra money at some time, I might buy some LEDs and put them around the case, well, I'll, I'll show that one next, around the case, which should be pretty awesome looking once we get there. So let's move on to the next. All right, for memory, I decided to go with a Kickstarter 240 gigabytes SSD for put the put all my basic program, well, all the important programs in, like uh, Windows, of course, then OBS, chat box, all the stuff I use for recording, editing, all those nice things will be going on here. And of course, I got a two terabyte uh, Seagate, Two terabyte like CD HD drive and hard drive, <laughs> mechanical hard drive. So this is gonna work well with our system, and hopefully everything's gonna work out once we install it in there. So not much to say. All the games are going in here. I have an external hard drive down there too. Well, on all my videos, I might I might offload some of them in here, like my important ones, to help out relief because I think my other ones are already maxed out. The other ones, an old one I used to use for my. Back in the day, when you well, back in the day, I'm only 29, not that whole. Back in the day, there was uh, uh, there was uh, what was it? Uh, my DVR, you, you needed to buy an external hard drive to uh, like when you record the, your videos and all that stuff. I used to use that, and then I reformatted the hard drive to use it, an external hard drive for my 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 laptop downstairs that I'm using right now. So, this is going to help out a lot to, to do a lot of videos. Might buy another external hard drive with bigger space. Maybe four terabytes to help me out, so I don't have to keep erasing old videos. That's the only unfortunate thing, because uh, a lot of videos, like my complete playthroughs of like um, uh, what was it? Uh, some of my older games just didn't record properly, and I'm a bit disappointed. I had to delete them uh, to make more room on my CP on my uh, external hard drive. But we'll go from there, and we'll see what it what it does. This one pretty straightforward USB six dollar USB from Kingston again. This is just going to be to install the Windows uh, Windows to the this hard drive right here. So that's pretty much it for that one. Now these now th this is a bit weird because some of you might be mad at me for this, but I decide I bought HDMI to DVI wires because I don't I didn't have in my budget enough to buy a, a, like a cool one forty four uh, megahertz. Screen. I have an old screen that I that works perfectly, but it doesn't have HDMI, so it's a bit older than I should have. Uh, it's it's not it's not 10 years old yet, but <laughs> it should work. It does 1080 and all that stuff. So 
these wires are going to work and the second wire is for my connecting uh, since I'm going to be using the HDMI port on the graphic card with the, the main screen I'll be using the DVI port on the, on the graphic card to plug into my splitter that connects to my Elgato that all does that thing, those things. That's another thing I didn't buy with this set was uh, an Elgato HD60 if I remember correctly the one, or S or the one that goes in the case. And they didn't have it in store, but also I didn't have an, an extra $250 to spend on that right now. Since I already have one, I'll just use the one I already have. All right, for the final piece of the build, we have a nice little case here with a window on the side, a Corsair Carbide Series 270R. It's black. This, once again, wasn't my first choice. I'm, I'm happy because this one does, uh, it does look awesome. First case I wanted was a Fractal Design mystic red focus or something like that focus mystic red or something like that uh the only thing i hated about that case as my first choice is that it didn't have any like a basement sort of a cover over the power supply so i wouldn't have any room to hide all the wires this one does so i'm really happy with that that's going to at least help me with my cable management and all those nice little things. So that's pretty much it. Uh, in the next video, I'll go over the build. I'll be taking my time to do the build because this is gonna be my first time. I watch a lot of videos. I'm gonna be reviewing a lot of videos before I start to make sure I'm doing it right. Uh, but I'm pretty confident I'll be able to do a pretty solid build, pretty, not quick, but a pretty efficient build. I, sh I shouldn't run into any problems because I've been watching so many freaking videos on how simple I, I should be fine on this one. So thank you so much guys for watching my parts video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all the little parts that I have here for you. Tell me what if you enjoyed the setup in the comment below what, what you would do different. Of course don't, don't tell me shoot sure with the intel man. No, I'm good. Uh, my Ryzen should do the job perfectly for what I want to do. And uh, tell me what your setup looks like. Send me pictures on Twitter or Instagram or whatever. I like seeing awesome setups with cool RGBs. Because, of course, RGBs do, does add RAM power and CPU power and all those things. So, and FPS, of course. So, uh, of course, that's a joke. That's not true. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate that. Follow me everywhere, Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com for slash Me Time Gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you next video. Keep on keeping on.